हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर हरिहरन एक्सप्रेस चैनल टुडे अनदर टॉपिक आई विल डिस्कस दैट इज ए ऑक्जिलियरी मेमोरी इन कंप्यूटर मेमोरी सिस्टम ओके ऑक्जिलियरी मेमोरी इन कंप्यूटर मेमोरी सिस्टम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरी ऑफ मेमोरी व्हिच इज इन्वॉल्व इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ मेमोरी not directly uh, we'll consider that memory which are involved as a main memory or secondary memory okay so other way we will consider this auxiliary memory which help to memory system whenever user or customer uh, are needed to use some external memory or other way other way that memory that data can be stored in other way it is a common auxiliary memory uh, devices that uh, used in a computer system uh, just like uh, computer system but uh, uh, whenever used those memory it is considered as a or normally used as a magnetic disk or tapes that uh, memory uh, uh, like this uh, magnetic disk under under tapes where or magnetic tapes uh, where the memory different uh, data uh, or memory is designed in such a way that it is uh, out of that our uh, uh, inbuilt memory or that is uh, uh, where uh, different memory involved in a computer system it is out of that because outside that memory you can use whenever it is necessary for the computer system okay so here uh, i will show you how the that auxiliary memory is uh, auxiliary memory is used in a computer system in a other way okay now i will see the other part of the computer which are not involved in a computer system okay <coughs> the other components are used but not as frequently as magnetic drums or a magnetic uh, bubble memory and optical disks okay so I means is just like because uh, these uh, magnetic drums magnetic bubbles memory or like this uh, these are uh, sometimes uh, involved in a computer system to understand a fully physical mechanism of um, uh, auxiliary memory devices uh, one must have a knowledge of magnetic electronics and uh, electromechanical systems because the magnetic disk or tapes or any magnetic uh, Uh, related memory uh, who is uh, create that uh, memory it is a one kind of physical mechanism to create that auxiliary memory they have they should have uh, that is uh, knowledge of magnetic uh, concept of uh, data how it is uh, embedded into the disk that kind of concept need to Uh, that is uh, remember or need to analyze how much data can be stored or how it is designed okay so basic concept of uh, electronic uh, or electro electromechanical uh, the system is needed how different data is stored in a bit form in a uh, magnetic disk whenever it will store then how it will uh, what kind of a uh, way is required to store it okay so physical mechanism of the auxiliary memory is important to store different different data now we see the magnetic disk uh, whenever uh, we design the magnetic disk normally what happens that is it, it is a circular plate i think all of you know that whenever the disk any kind of a disk compact disk or a cd that is it is a circular plate okay and uh, it is a uh, it is constructed uh, by uh, some metal or plastic coated uh, with a magnetized material here it is a circular plate uh, it is constructed uh, through plastic coated uh, with a magnetized uh, material because uh, that um, why it is magnetized uh, whenever it will uh, receive some data through some electronic media okay it will be printed 
So, it is a one kind of a, uh, electronics uh, devices which receive the data that is 0 or 1 or in the form of 0 or 1. Then uh, it is a magnetized material by which the different different electronic data can be stored. Another is uh, beads are stored in magnetized, very simple way it is mentioned, magnetized surface in spots along concentric circles called tracks. Means uh, it is uh, one kind of a circular flat, circular flat it will uh, that is uh, center point also there, the circle like structure that uh, magnetic disc and uh, whenever beads are stored in a magnetized surface, uh, it is just a sp uh, the spot uh, spotted out uh, on the concentric uh, circles. I will show you how it is uh, uh, spotted out uh, and uh, how it will uh, move from one uh, circle to another circle, but each circle we can tell as a that is a tracks. That means uh, magne uh, magnetic disk uh, contains the number of circular uh, circular uh, shape uh, by which a circular shape or a concentric circles which uh, is known as uh, tracks. That means uh, it is co it contains the number of circles the each circles known as uh, tracks. The tracks are commonly divided into number of sections uh, we can tell as uh, sectors. Okay. So, very uh, simple way I will show you that figure then you can understand that it means that the circle like structure is there and each circle contains the number of uh, each circle divides the number of sections we can call those sections as a that is sectors. In most system the minimum quantity of information which can be transferred is a sector that, that means uh, whenever we have to store some data or retrieve some data from that uh, magnetic disk that will transfer through that sector. That sector it will store some data and uh, also uh, that is uh, retrieve some data from that sector. I will show you how uh, that magnetic disk or tape is designed. Okay? Now, we see magnetic uh, disk here you see very simple way it is mentioned magnetic uh, disk ok. Here you see in a center point a centric point is there and here number of circles is defined or designed here like, like this. See number of circles is designed like this. You see one after one number of circles are there. Okay. Then each circle whenever designed this circle each circle we call as a track you see already mentioned this is called as a track T R A C K tracks. Okay. These uh, circles, number of circles are there, we can tell as a track. That means uh, how many number of tracks are there? We do not know, it will depend on the capacity of that uh, disk. Okay. Next uh, each circle again divided into number of uh, sectors or sections number of sections and each section we can tell as a sector like it we can uh, tell here here is a suppose here is the sector this part we can tell as a sector this is a, as a sector okay so, like this, different different sectors are there. So, how many sectors can be defined or designed depend on the, the designer, they will decide how many sectors can be designed. Okay. So, 
here we will see two kind of things we got it here one is the number of circles that is a track now each track contains the number of sections these are the sections here these are sections so sectors these sections are sectors these sectors what i mean depend on that small or large from center point to outside you see it is how much space or distance covered from center to here suppose here 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 or here like this it will increase okay whenever it will increase the number of data also increase accordingly into the corresponding sectors the sector size increase based on that corresponding data also increase at that time okay so these are the basic concept whenever we go through this magnetic disk but here you see one thing i will show you here one read write this part is a very simple read write head it is one head is there it is move in onto the that track that is read or right head it is read or write head this part okay this part is read or write head it will move on this particular track one track whenever that track will be over then automatically that read write head move to another track okay like this number of a track it will move based on the requirement okay how it will move that uh, that is a uh, the system or that is a me mechanical system also there whenever complete one data to another that uh, one whenever complete uh, data from one track automatically move to another track either reading point of view or writing point of view suppose one track data is over to write then it jump to another track or one data is over for reading then it jump to another track whenever jump from one track to another track then it will also cover the number of sectors also this number of sectors also it will cover okay so like this we will see how the read write head it move from one track to another track okay so this is the basic concept regarding on magnetic disk actually it is a, it is a magnetic uh, material material that magnetic material is very very important to store some data like a magnetized since it is a magnetized material it will store only that is a fluctuate of uh, sorry zero one form of a magn uh, bit of data whenever zero one zero one zero one like this uh, automatically that uh, data it will store in this track okay so uh, that is the electronic concept is there but we don't go through what is the electronic concept of is uh, this uh, magnetic disk our aim to analyze regarding on memory uh, concept through auxiliary uh, memory that is we need we will discuss that part okay so uh, it is one part uh, for uh, this particular concept of this uh, magnetic disk but uh, here you see how it will work how much uh, data will store or how it is work through read write heads permanent time tracks are used in a disk to synchronize the bits and recognize the sectors okay actually permanent time mean tracks are used because uh, it will move, move from one track to another track with a certain time period okay whenever time is over then uh, the read write head uh, read uh, read write heads is uh, come out or it will continue depend on the time slots okay and a disk system is addressed by this uh, addressed by address bits that specify disk number and the disk surface the sector number 
and a track within the sector because whenever we consider any kind of data stored in a disk it has own address and that address also depend on which track this track is there which track the data is stored and which sector also it will store for example data is stored here for example here the data is stored here okay so number of trucks available we don't know how many number of trucks are available but whenever it you count from 1 2 3 4 like this a number of trucks are there okay for example this is the one truck in this truck what happens this particular this sector our data is there that means it contains one address where it, uh, um, this add, uh, this data suppose store in here or available here we have to find out the data available in which track maybe 13 14 15 16 number of track and which sector suppose you go through this sector which it is sector on which track number and which sector number where our data is stored okay on this suppose it 13 track number sector number similarly suppose count from here 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like this or here count 1 1 first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it is 1 okay like this so 15 uh, track number 1 sector number like this uh, our data is stored for example okay so that data is available or not how to know that the role of read write heads very important after the after the read write heads are positioned in the specified track and the system has to wait until rotating disk reaches the specified sector under the read write head so where suppose we will search our data in a disk then what happens read write heads it is uh, heads is position to specify the track then find out its corresponding sector then it will find out or our data can be find out or can be found in certain location or certain address in the track in the disk magnetic disk okay like this a different different uh, part is there in the magnetic disk where data can be available another similarly here you see information transfer is very fast once the beginning of the sector has been reached okay so once uh, the uh, uh, the sector we reach in the sector so automatically the data transfer from that particular sector to any other area or we write or we read or we transfer the data from that particular sector for the reason information transfer is very fast okay once beginning sector has been reached okay so this is the another concept regarding on a sector whenever read write head is move from uh, move through different different uh, tracks as well as a sector okay okay so again disks may have multiple heads and a simultaneous transfer of bits from several tracks at the same time normally we know that uh, one head we know that from a disk whenever it read or write but sometimes uh, some disks having uh, that is multiple heads and a simultaneous transfer of bits from several trucks at the same time because whenever you need different different data transfer from one uh, disk to any other other uh, location or other component then several trucks also they will transfer simultaneously okay and another is disks that are permanently attached to the unit assembly and cannot be removed 
by occasional user are called hard disks okay disks are permanently attached to the unit assembly and cannot be removed by occasional user as hard disks means it once uh, data is stored that is permanently stored if any corrupt or something damaged by the particular uh, by any other uh, way if it takes then data may not be available but once data stored it permanently stored in that particular disk so that is also we can uh, we can tell as a hard disk a disk drive with a movable disk is called floppy disk okay another concept of a disk is a disk drive with a mo removable if removable disk is called a floppy disk okay if removable disk is a, then a floppy disk and disk used with a floppy disk drive are small and most of the time that is floppy disk are small and less amount of data can be stored in floppy disk and it is small removable disk made of plastic coated with a magnetic recording material okay normally once a disk any disk will be considered normally it is a magnetic material so whenever store any data so it is stored with a plastic coated with a magnetic recording material and it is also removable disk if we go through or if we use floppy disk nowadays most of the people not used this floppy disk okay it is very old version of that disk but uh, there is a very uh, rare case uh, may be used but nowadays nobody uses this floppy disk it is very old version okay and uh, now we will discuss regarding on magnetic 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 tape a magnetic tape transport consists of electrical and a mechanical and electro components to provide the parts and a control mechanism for a magnetic tape unit means it is a uh, what uh, what we call that is a, it is a uh, transport magnetic transport consists of electrical both electrical mechanical as well as electronic components to provide the parts of look control mechanism for a magnetic tape unit why that is a magnetic tape it is move through that track also and a sector also so these three kind of things is required whenever magnetic magnetic tape may need to build so the tape itself is a trip of plastic coated the tape itself is a trip of plastic coated with a magnetic recording medium just like a magnetic disk magnetic tape and magnetic disk having similar concept and the bits are recorded as magnetic spots on the tape along several tracks whenever the bits are need to stored or recorded that means writing in the magnetic disk or magnetic tape then it will is spotted on that particular tape along several tracks as well as sectors okay so that kind of things uh, is there whenever you write any uh, data into the magnetic tapes and a magnetic disk very simple way i'll show you suppose some concept is there for example tape or uh, magnetic tape or uh, that disk for example it is uh, one kind of tape center point is there we store some few data then what happens uh, few data or what is the possibility of data since it is uh, that is circular shape okay since it is a circular shape then what happens uh, through that circular shape the data will store okay so like this uh, data will store okay when data will store then what happens uh, then what happens uh, which data or when data is stored it will cover some spotted area okay it will cover some spotted area because what happens when data stored it will some gray color uh, 
gray color like this, it will it is looking. We can see that how it is visible compared to non data tape or disk. If some amount of data stored, then what happens? You see some circle having like this, some spotted area can be uh, you can see, you can be seen the spotted area whenever data is available. Even other part is as usual, nothing, no, nothing empty, it will be looking, but if we store some data, some spot is looking like this circular spot we can find. So, this is the basic concept whenever data is stored in either magnetic tape or a magnetic disk. Okay. So, this is the basic concept regarding on this particular that is a magnetic disk or magnetic tape. Normally, whenever analysis auxiliary memory, normally two things either a magnetic disk or a magnetic tapes are used as a auxiliary memory. Okay. It is the part of a memory system, but it is external memory. Whenever you whenever we need, we can also use that auxiliary memory through magnetic disk or a magnetic tape for our requirement. But whenever we go through that um, auxiliary memory, different ways we can also use that memory, some storage point of view or a delete point of view also we can also use, does not matter, because since it is auxiliary memory, it is also support to our memory and it is very compatible, reliable to transfer our data through that auxiliary memory. But sometimes, uh, when, uh, but uh, whenever we, we store some data, it is necessary, some I O processor is necessary to transfer the data from memory, our memory to auxiliary memory. Okay, it is one kind of a technique also there, whenever it will store from uh, our memory to auxiliary memory. Okay. So, this is the basic concept regarding on that uh, auxiliary memory in computer system. Okay. I, since it is very theoretical concept, I explain this one, I hope all of you understand this auxiliary memory in a computer system. Okay. Thanks. Thanks to all to watch my videos. Okay. Thanks.